in the neighborhood we always know that we're going to stir up all the other dogs in the neighborhood that's just a part of life when you live in a neighborhood and you're walking uh, even if you don't have a dog but i want to show you a really good dog knows that she has to stay in the yard without your permission there's like an invisible fence across here and she knows she's not to ever be in the front without me so even if i left the garden gate open she will not come out into the front she knows when the garage door opens that she can't go out by herself, uh, that she can just go out to the car and she comes right back in when she's told to. And she also knows that she can't go anywhere with me walking without this leash on. Whether there's a leash law or not, unless you're on your property, you need to have a leash on your dog because you never know what's gonna run up. I've had a very small dog run after her. And of course, she's not an aggressive dog and she's scared to death and she's wrapping around me trying to get away from this little dog and the guy that owned the little dog's running trying thinking that the, his little dog's going to be an appetizer to her and she's the one that's afraid and his dog is the one aggressive but always keep your dogs on the leash because otherwise she would have taken off running maybe and run in front of a car and i don't want that so i don't want anybody to ever be able to say that my dog was running towards one of their kids even though she wouldn't do that because she's not interested in just running up to meet people but always teach your dog she has to wait or he has to wait before you're leaving their area. They can't leave without a leash. like their dogs whenever they're trying to get them to walk they want them right beside them and I don't like that because I don't have the greatest balance and I don't want her right beside me it kind of knocks me over especially if something scares her startles her all of a sudden so I just kind of let her go until somebody is coming towards us or she gets frightened of something or we're coming to someplace where we're gonna have to cross a road and I have to worry about traffic uh, and I'll talk to you about a leash later, the best leash for that, in my opinion anyway. But I just kind of let her walk on her own. It doesn't bother me at all. I really don't need that right here beside me thing going on. Uh, for some people, that's a must. For me, I, I just have never done that to my dogs. So guys, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Check us out on social media and subscribe. But for certain, come back and see us again. Thanks. Bye.